hello, thank you for coming. Uh, bonsoir. We have French students, uh, I think, making up a quarter of the audience this evening, so that's very good. So, just Bonjour. We have 20 people from the Generation Game coming in. We have 20 people yeah. from the Generation <laughs> Game audience. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> All right, so are, are we going to delay our recording for them? Or oh, we're not going to delay, so they're just going to come right in. Are they going to expect us to make something? <laughs> so what happens? So what's the story? So is, uh, is this the overflow from the Generation Game audience? Oh, that's fantastic. OK, we're going to start the show. So that's it. Let's go. Nobody likes soft serve dripping down in the June sun. I tried to shoot a thought, but the thought sunk. Nothing to do but scratch words in the dirt and watch the water roll down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, good evening and welcome. This is your recommended daily allowance on BBC Choice. And for the next uh, 29 minutes or so, we're going to uh, just show you stuff that we have seen that appeals to us. It's just stuff that we've got for you. Uh, anyway, today is Wednesday, the 5th of July, the day that soldiers took to the streets on the Ivory Coast as they protested over pay rights, and the World Cup bids for 2006 reached their final hurdle. Uh, but more importantly, Huey Lewis is 50 today. <laughs> Thank you, Huey. <laughs> and by the way, before we continue, uh, a big welcome to the rest of our audience who I think have been chucked out of the Generation Game this evening. Good evening. <laughs> wow. How are you all? Now, you, 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 by all means, come in and, 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 and fill in the front row. Would you like to fill in the front row? Hang on, sorry. Can right, we just move some stuff for you? Now, is it, are, you, are, you, are you happy to be here? Do you have any idea what you've just walked into? No. no Nothing idea. whatsoever. OK, well, sit yourselves down. All right, all right. Now, what happened? You, you people went to the Generation Game. Yes. And what happened? You, there, there was an overflow. It was. Right. How many tickets did we, did we sell for this programme today? 80. 80. And we had, I think, 15 people show up to see our show. <laughs> So, so thank you very much for coming. You have no idea what you're watching. You're expecting Jim Davidson and, and some, some clay moulding, aren't you? <laughs> All right, well, I'm afraid we're not going to get that. This is, a, this is a show called The Recommended Daily Allowance. My name is John. For some reason, I'm talking to you. I, I, I don't for, know. I, do you mind being the spokeswoman for the jury? No, I don't. Is that all right? What is your name? Christine. Christine. Well, John, it's nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming, because you can see we're a little sparse on the ground. And our show is a sort of a, it's a, sort of a sleepy drama set in a, in a, in a harbour town. <laughs> Yeah? So it's kind of, you know, and there's, there's sordid action and stuff. So, you know, we'll, Nick Berry will be along later on to help us out. <laughs> All right. So here we are. My goodness, an absolute room full of people. Well, wow. <laughs> We're like a proper TV show. <laughs> <laughs> that row couldn't give a rat's fuck. <laughs> no, we're here for you. Are you here for me? We're here for you. Thank you very much. Are you with us or against us, William Wallace? <laughs> uh, let's have a look at this. Here's now the news for people who only like soap operas. Are you all right, Barry? What is it? Mm. It's the new government in Fiji, isn't it? <laughs> Look, Barry, it's going to be OK. But they revoked the 1997 Constitution, Julie. <laughs> yeah, but... You know, if it's going to work, George Spate is the man to do it, surely. I mean, you know the way he feels about the indigenous population. Yeah, I know, but it's just... Barry, you've got to consider that... Consider what? Well, the government is vulnerable. Economically. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is some sort of strange culture clash for a lot of you, isn't it? Is it all right? It's great. All right, is it fine? It's great. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. 
I want to show you something. I was hanging out just recently in, in Claire's Accessories looking at their new nail art range and, and I had an idea for a thing. We had an idea on the program for something called Jingles Night and the idea of Jingles Night, we thought what we would do is we would get in touch with all of the local radio stations because you know there, there are loads out there. So we sent out this, uh, this, this clarion call to I think it was 204, 208 uh, radio stations because we wanted to play some of their jingles on the show. Four radio stations responded. Uh, but the one that we liked best was a, was a station called Radio Shropshire. So Radio Shropshire were very kind enough to send us their jingle, and we'd like to play it for you now, because it makes us laugh. But the thing about this Radio Shropshire thing, obviously we can't just play you a jingle, because it's kind of a bit naff, really. You know, it is television. So what we thought we would do is cut the Radio Shropshire jingle to images drawn from today's news. So here now, Radio Shropshire and today's world news. In Shropshire, we got it all. To Hartnett Hall, sightseeing, shopping, a picnic is great. There's so much more to appreciate. Shropshire, you are the best. Ellesmere Snakes to Wenbuck Edge. Tufford Park in Bridge North, too. Shropshire, we're a part of you. 96 FM. Shropshire, we're proud to be a part of your society. He's just in. Apparently, if anyone was watching the programme last night, there's been another spotting of this gentleman here. Uh, do you remember he was the social worker? He cropped up in a social worker ad, and then he showed up on this phone card. There seems to be this actor. Where have we got it there? Uh, and he just seems to show up. We can't work out what this fella's got to do with anything that he's supposed to be advertising. He just sort of sits there like some kind of... Well, there he's like some sort of Eastern Fonzie kind of character. We can't really work him out. Eee! But now, apparently, today, someone saw the show and they called up and apparently he's in here selling Kodak film. So <laughs> we can't let this out at all. Hey, sit on it, Mr. Freeze Green. <laughs> I have no idea. So anyway, so if you see any more of him, then just kind of let us know about it. Now, uh, oh, we have to do a little tease. Our guest this evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is none other than Britt Eklund. Uh, and goodness knows... <laughs> People you, have never, can, ever met anybody in their lives in the studio yeah. audience. Uh, so let's it's have a little look easy, at... Uh, apparently she's I, in makeup or something. Oh, there she is. So look. Kind of young in a way. Yeah, they are. There you and go. They're such pretty, like, baby colours. Britt, yeah. can you hear I us? Wear them they're very now colours, no, she can't. I think yeah. she seems like to be that. trying to sell yeah, our assistant producer, Nicholas, some jewellery. 